Hello developers, so now we're going to be doing the second project of this course The second project is going to be a Tesla landing page as you can see right over here This is what we're going to be designing uh, It's going to be very simple, not much code As you can see we have a navigation bar And we have a beautiful background image with two call to action buttons We are also going to have a footer That will basically, if we were to have a, um, a more detailed website Then it would take us to the other pages if it was going to be a flat page uh, website so now let's continue and let's get started into this project so first of all let's make a new folder for this project so go to your workspace and make a new folder which in this case is going to be tesla and then open it using vs code now we want to make a new file so first let's open it Now we can go to the, the workspace area and make a new file. We're going to call it index.html and do the scaffolding for the HTML. And now we want to um, uh, use a CDN. So first of all, we're going to remove these meta tags. We don't need them. And let's give the title. At the, let's make the title Tesla, and let's have a CDN so that we can basically uh, import. So we can basically use Tailwind CSS in our project. So let's go and find Tailwind CSS from the Tailwind website. So let's grab the CDN. Right over here, as you can see, this link tag. We want to copy and paste it inside our uh, inside our head section in the HTML. Now we can get started with uh, designing this. Uh, website. Okay. Well, let's design the body so we can give it a background image. So let's open the style tags in the head section and we're going to uh, target the body and we're going to have background property. The background will be a URL and we will use the. Uh, we already have an image so you can use the image that we, we are using if you want to or you can basically. I, I recommend you go and grab yourself an image. Uh, whatever image you like and use it as a background for this web application in this case we're going to be using our own URL image which is that I'm going to use they're going to be labeled in a text file so you can use the, the images that you want to like you can go and find your own images or you can simply choose one from the images that I have put in uh, so in this case we're going to be using the first image we're going to be using it inside the inside the body it's going to be a background image so uh, for this background image we're also going to use center center and that should center it vertically and horizontally we're not going to really do much uh, CSS this is the only uh, CSS that we're going to use it's just very simple stuff uh, okay so now let's continue and after that we're also going to make the background size cover so it covers the entire uh, entire body section now we can go ahead let's actually check it before we uh, before we move on as you can see a beautiful background image okay so now let's style the body uh, so we're going to add some classes to it so that it can uh, be styled very nicely we're going to use h screen so that takes the entire screen's height and it will basically use that entire height we're also going to use flex and flex call to make it into a uh, column and the items inside it should be centered so we'll use justify center now the first thing we're going to have inside this uh, in this body we're going to have the navigation bar. So for this navigation bar, this is going to. So we're going to use uh, nav tags, and this is going to be a container for all the navigation items. So this navigation container needs to take as much space as it can. So we'll use flex, and we'll also use justify between, so that it will give uh, it will give uh, good spacing between the between the items inside this navigation uh, navigation container. And we're also going to use item center to center the items uh, okay and we're also going to use text white to make uh, the text color white and uh, we're going to have a horizontal padding of five and a vertical padding of three for the fonts we also want to make it small so we will use text sm for the positioning we'll use absolute so that is going is gonna to be always on top and we're to do to make it always on top we're going to use top zero and left zero 
and we're also going to be using uh, right zero as well so that's it. it's basically stuck to the top now inside this navigation bar we're going to have a div this div is going to basically hold the navigation items there's going to be a container for all the items um, so firstly we're going to have the Tesla logo so we're going to be using a base64 image that we have included in the text file which is basically the second image in the text file so that's what we're going to use for the source over here as you can see so a base64 image is basically the actual content of the image is inside the uh, is using base64 which is what we have pasted which is what we pasted right now and for the image we're going to give it a uh, h4 so h4 is basically it will give it uh it will give it a height of 1 rem basically okay so now after this image so let's just refresh before we go and as you can see we have this beautiful tesla logo now we need to add in the items on the left and on the right as well so let's go ahead and uh, do this so for this uh, so after this image we're going to have uh, a new div okay so the i made a mistake in this uh, for the div that i mentioned uh, prior to this so this div is only going to be used for this image so we're going to have another div that is going to have the left uh, items of the navigation bar so now let's make this new div that i i just uh, mentioned so we can make a new div right under the not the image tree is going to be right under the right under the div after it okay so now for this div is going to have a medium text so we'll use text md so the reason we're copying and pasting this icon is just going to be an icon and it's got nothing to do with tailwind so we can basically just copy and paste it i don't need to explain it just the svg okay now let's move on after this uh, before we do that let's refresh okay it looks very nice now uh, let's do the next section which is going to be uh, the div so after this navigation item, we're basically done with the navigation bar. Now we can continue with the uh, with the content of this front page. So after this navigation tag, after the navigation closing tag, we're going to open a new div. This is going to be a column, so we're going to use flex and flex call. So it's going to so it's going to take up the entire section and an uh, entire uh, portion of the screen, and it will be a column using flex call. And we're going to justify everything inside it the center we're going to make it center so we're going to use justify center and item center and for the margin top we're going to do a minus margin top of 64 now inside this uh, container we're going to have a paragraph and this is going to basically feature our model s car so this is going to be a title for the model s and let's see how that looks actually Okay, we need to style this now. Let's make it white. And let's make it very big using text 5XL. And we'll also give it a padding of 4. And also the center it using text center. So let's see how that looks now. Okay, beautiful. Looks much better. Now under this, we're going to have uh, a div that will basically have the call to action buttons. So for this div is going to be uh, is going to basically take up the space that it can using flex, and we'll use flex call to make it into a column. And we're going to, for small devices we're going to make it a row with the width of half, so one over two. Um, so so for small devices we're going to make it into a row flex row, and for the width is going to be one o uh, one over two. And we'll also give it a margin bottom of four. Now inside this, we're going to have the call to action buttons. So let's start with the first one. So for the first call to action button is to allow the user or to allow the customer basically to have his own custom order. So he can press that button and then make his own custom order. So let's just do that for now. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that definitely needs some styling. So let's style it. Let's style it now. So we'll use we'll make the background white for it and we'll make the text black and we'll make it rounded as well so it has a a nice border radius so let's refresh to see how that looks okay it needs uh, some border radius so we need to be rounded full so it will basically have a full 
uh, a much bigger road radius definitely need some padding as well so let's do uh, let's give it some margin margin uh, horizontal and vertical of two and oh let's make it let's use flex grow to make it take up more so after this anchor we're going to have a div so we're going to exit this div and so we're going to escape this div and we're going to have footer so now for this footer is actually going to allow the user to basically scroll down to the next pages in this flat page website so let's start with styling this footer we're going to make this footer stuck to the bottom using bottom zero left zero right zero and we're also going to position this using absolute positioning and inside this footer we're going to have a paragraph and we're going to say uh, free unlimited insurance on our new cars or free insurance for our new cars for five years. Mm, so you can barely see it it's right in the top left corner so we need to center it and we need to make it white so let's go ahead and do that so we'll use text white and we'll use text center to center it and make it white okay that looks much better but we need to also let's see what else can we do to it uh, let's give it some so let's do leading loose to make it more spaced out between the words and also let's do a width of 100 and let's see what else tracking wider as well to make the character spacing more and we'll do uh, let's see how that looks now that should be fine okay yeah that looks good so after this paragraph we're going to have a div now this div is basically going to have a svg icon where it's going to have an arrow to indicate that there's more content if you want if the user wants to scroll down so for this one we're going to have flex for this div and we're going to use item center and also text center so that the items so that the icon inside it the svg icon will be centered and that itself would also be centered using text center and justify center is also that will also uh, make this items make the icon inside it centered and also we'll do cursor pointer so that when the user puts his cursor on top of it it will change to your pointer and now we're going we can paste the svg icon inside it you can take this from the from the text file that i have put in that i have included and now let's see how that looks beautiful so just a quick disclaimer as well about this leading loose i thought it actually gives you spacing between the words but actually it gives you spacing between the lines so that there's uh, under this line there's more spacing uh, and basically this summarizes this project uh, i hope you have enjoyed this project the website looks stunning as you can see uh, there's more that you can do to it uh, feel free to use this how you want to uh, now let's move on to the next project